What's up guys, welcome back to JK Fishing. Back down in the Sunshine State with the fam. Huge change up for me. I was down here two weeks ago for school. Went back home, filmed the video on the Niagara River with Mike and Alex, and now I'm back down in beautiful sunny South Florida. Although today it has not been very sunny and it's very cold. But that's been to our advantage. We've got a lot of bluefish today, a lot of sharks, all on video, some sick, sick footage for you guys. So stay tuned. Get Jack on it. All right, lots of fun with these blue fish. Oh, look at him go, look at him go. He's out there, he's real. Woo. Look at that, look, okay, look at this. They're biting the tails of each other again. Because he would have died in the first place. These are massive blues. Holy jeez. Look, look what he coughed up. Look what he coughed up, guys. Bait fish. They're feeding. Bait sucked up. Yes. You got him. I got one as well. What the heck? I got one. <laughs> Johnny sucked up. I'm hooked up, I almost died. Well, not necessarily, but I took a nice little tumble over there. Yeah, so. I mean, man, these are good blue fish. They just cut, look at the size of his, holy cow. These are nice blues, nice and fresh. We got a little one, <laughs> look at the size of his. Holy, immediately they come and frick go, yes. They come. Here can eat mine. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Shark eat mine. Alright. And we're going to go back. He's jumping out there, got some acrobatics. Yeah, there they are. Get the line and get a little, get a slammer in. They're here, they're here. Right away, we're casting for five minutes, nothing. The school comes in, they move in through the trough. Immediately. Straight out, go. See if we can get a triple here before they move out. So they work up and down this beach. He's not beautiful. beautiful. Like I said, they come in schools. Oh, shoot. We had no other surf rods, so we're just throwing the slammer in when we hook up when the school comes by. Incredible how these fish work. Truly incredible. The second one is hooked, you know they're in and they will hit anything in front of them. And they're probably gone now. That's the amazing part. They're probably either out farther or down the beach. It doesn't matter though, we're going to try. One person must be casting at all times. Second he hooks up, everyone else gets the water. Alright guys. Hook goes in. They're fresh. You gotta peel back and the tail fresh. This is on your rod? Yeah, I'm gonna go down a little bit because it's gonna hurt your head. Now we wait. We got a hit, the line was really damn flat. He's just twisting like nuts. Oh 
my gosh! Oh my god! It's just going slack. I feel him hitting the line. Holy cow! Oh! oh my god! He's charging. Incredible! Incredible! And he broke off. The line went slack. He must have tapped the leader. He must. He must have tapped the leader, and you know what? If that tail touches the leader, when he jumps like that, you can't do anything. Lost the whole race? I think so. Oh, yeah. Now there's some weight to it. Yeah, no, I'm done. Oh, I wasn't recording. You're so funny. The, I can't get over he jumped that much. This, look at no, the rig's still there. Rig's still there. He just spit the hook. So our rig, guys, is flawless. He lost the weight. Once again, the rig is flawless. Just as I had planned, the rig is flawless. He just oh. spit it. When he jumps like that, he's bound to spit the damn hook. And you know what else, Joe? Look what, look what he did that. Hey, look at that. Perfect barrel wrap. Haywire twist was great, and he just wrecked it. Guess what, Joe? These are damn good sandwiches. These are very good. That damn was. Good. I've never actually seen a spinner or a black to be that acrobatic before. He just kept going. I'm like, oh, if he, I knew if he kept going though, I would have lost him. Drag tight. It's not tight now. You got it. He's on. That drag better be the right tightness or else you're losing it. Is the drag light enough? Let him run if you want. Let him run and kill himself. The hook's in there, man. Okay, Jack, go reel in that rock and do a fish on it. Good boy. That's not good boy. Great boy. If you lose this, Jack is my favorite brother. Yeah, I know. Watch him get hit. His drag is locked down. And he's gonna. Do you just have a fish on? <laughs> He just lost it. He goes to reel in. The drag is locked down. I see a fish jump out there and line peeling off his, his rod. That is incredible. Working, he's getting tired now. Keep that drag loose. I'd give him probably 50 pounds because you are running a loose drag, right? That is not very loose. Good job, Jack. Yeah. Really? So there's a million of these things right now. They're just chasing whatever. Yeah. Wow. Joe, are you going to just try and grab the tail or what? Jack, heads up. Give him the pliers. Pliers. Buddy. Yeah, that was 
same one I saw in the shore. <laughs> Was it? Yeah. <laughs> Too easy. This is like our 18th hit of the day. Go, go, go. Real, 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 real. Yeah, there we go. That's a hook Over, under, 6.5 cast to catch a blue fit with a spoon. Over, under? I would take the under 6.5. <laughs> Oh! Real, oh! real. It spit it or it popped off. Huh. Johnny. Wow. All right, guys. Unfortunately, Joe might be done using crimps. Hold this. The crimp. So the issue with crimps is when you bend the line on a hook, the line becomes weak and these, you've had these rigs for like a year now and it just broke. Do we have any wire here? All right guys, so a little recap here. Uh, we got that shark. We broke off on the next one. So we did pretty poorly. Our ratio uh, hookups and landings for sharks today. But that's how it goes. Our first day down here, can't be, can't be much happier. So, all in all, I think we're going to call it a day, but stay tuned. We're going to cook up that bluefish. A lot of people say they're trash fish. We have been eating them for a while now. If you get them on ice right away, which is what we did, you eat them fresh, which we're, probably, we're going to eat them tonight or, then, or maybe for a snack tonight, something. We're going to cook them up for you guys. we will see how they taste. So we'll see you in the kitchen with Chef Johnny. Before we get to the cooking part, which I'm not going to do, instead we have a special guest chef, Jack, who's going to be cooking for you guys. I just have to show you guys one stat. 98.2% of you are not subscribed. So if you're watching this channel and you like this content, hit that subscribe button and ring that little notification bell. See you with Jack. Okay, so we caught this bluefish in the beach on Palm Beach, Florida. And we're and we got some butter in the pan here, you see? And all we're gonna use is some seasoned salt, okay? So we are making fish tacos. Okay, so. this okay and that's it Wait, here we're gonna flip them and by the way, some people say that these fish are very trash fish, but I do not stand by that. I think they're just as good as any other fish. Do I do the other one now, question mark? Yeah, you can do it. Okay. See? Nice fillets. Ah. Very small bloodline, say that. Yeah, very small bloodline. Once your fish is done cooking, you gotta have to break it up in small pieces in order to it to be edible. Don't mind me. Now I'm done mixing. Now going on to the table. So now we're done cooking, so now we have to taste test. Thank you, beloved henchman. Approximately ten hours later. Well, I've got more more fingers than I have pieces of meat on here. Okay, let's use some quality cheese. And there, let's taste it. Amazing. That's all for JK Fishing.